we drive the V12 Italian Bull at Auto Club Speedways Road Course. We're putting you two in your own run group, said Dean Di Giacomo, Lamborghini's Super Trufio Series factory driver and chief instructor for this event, as I anxiously awaited my stint on the Auto Club Speedway sports car circuit. This would normally be joyous news to me, as smaller run groups in lead, follow lapping typically reduce the chances of the pace being held back by a colleague with less on-track experience. But the other journalist he pointed to was Justin Bell, a former FIA GT champion and 24 hours of La Mans class winner. And it suddenly became clear that I would be the anchor in this equation. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. That's easy to do with 730 horsepower at the command of your right foot, and a naturally aspirated, 6.5 liter V12 singing behind your head. The Aventador S replaces the new in 2012 standard Aventador and, even at first glance, it's clearly more track focused. For example, Lamborghini redesigned the front end to improve airflow to the engine's radiators and enhance aerodynamics which also ratchets up the visual aggression. Car Reviews 2017 Lamborghini Aventador S First Drive, Next Level Lambo At low speeds the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction of the front wheels, while at higher speeds, above roughly 82 mph, all four wheels move in the same direction. 2016 Lamborghini Aventador S V Car Reviews 2016 Lamborghini Aventador SV First Drive, Practice Makes Perfect and while the new steering and suspension bits do indeed bolster the car's cornering prowess, ultimately there's only so much that engineering can do to fight the realities of physics. The fact that this car can leave just about anyone, even jaded auto journalists, breathless and giggling like children after driving it is irrefutable proof that Lamborghini's approach to supercar building remains a worthwhile endeavor.